Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? x raised to the power x raised to the power 6 equals to root 2 raised to the power root 2. And uh, from here, we want to, you know, arrive at something when we have a raised to the power a equals to b raised to the power b. We understand here that a will be equals to b. So now, when we arrive at something like this from here, we can raise both power here to the power 6. So we have x raised to power x raised to power 6. Then we raise this to power of 6 here. Then equals to on this side as well, we have this root 2 raised to power root 2. Then let's raise this to power of 6 as well from here. So we raise this to power of 6. And then when we apply the law of indices here, we discover that this power we multiply out and uh, we can write this as x raised to power 6, then x raised to power 6 equals to here as well we have root 2 raised to power 6, then root 2. And then we can separate this from here. And uh, we apply the bracket there. So we have x raised to power 6. Then into bracket x raised to power. You know, raised to power x raised to power 6. Equals to. Here we can separate this 6. And that will simply be 3 times 2. We have root 2 raised to power 3 times 2. Then square root of 2 root 2. That this 6 here is same thing as 3 times 2. Then from here, we also can separate this and uh, we have x raised to power 6. Then raised to power x raised to power 6. Then equals to from here, we have root 2 raised to power 3. Then we raise it to power 2 root 2. Then from here, from this power of 2 root 2, we can reverse it and uh, we have that 2 root 2 can be the same thing as root 4 times 2. Because for this 2 to have comma, that means root 4. Root 4 now is 2, that's why we have that. Then this is root 8. And from here, root 8 can also be written as root 2, then to the power of 3. Then from here, instead of arriving to root 2 here, we can just say root 2 to the power of 3. And this will become x raised to the power 6. Then raised to the power x raised to the power 6 equals to root 2 to the power of 3. Then also raised to root 2 to the power of 3. And then when we look at what we established earlier, this format now, it follows. The base seems as the power, the base seems as the power, that means we can equate the two numbers. Then from here, the same thing happens here. So we have the base, the power, the base, same thing as the power. Then we can say x raised to the power 6 here is equal to root 2 raised to the power 3. Then let's remove this power of 3. Let's multiply both you know, sides by power of 1 over 3. We have x raised to the power 6 times 1 over 3 equals to root 2 raised to power 3 times power 1 over 3. This power cancel out here. We have 3 here, 1, 3 here, 2 here. Then we have x squared here equals to root 2. And uh, since we are finding x, let's remove this by putting the square root on both sides. Square root on both sides. So that, you know, square cancel square root here. And this will give us x equals to plus or minus square root of root 2 and then from here we have this can be written as 4 root of 2 and we have x equals to plus or minus 4 root of 2 so from here now we have two possible cases here we have x equals to 4 root of 2 or we have x equals to minus 4 root of 2 so from here we have these two values of x. Thank you for watching. Please share this video and also subscribe to my channel in order not to miss out from my videos.
thank you very much see you in the next class and uh, bye for now